No one got punked Wednesday morning when Ashton Kutcher came to Capitol Hill. The actor testified Wednesday before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee in a hearing on progress in combating modern slavery. Kutcher spoke on behalf of Thorne, Digital Defenders of Children, an organization he co-founded with then-wife Demi Moore in 2009 that builds software to fight human trafficking. These days, he called his day job his work as chairman of Thorne and also as a father, he and wife Mila Kunis welcomed son. Dimitri Portwood, in November, in order, Wyatt, is two years old. He caught a red eye to Washington after a Valentine's Day dinner with Kunis and will return home this afternoon. Right parenthesis. Ashton Kutcher walks with Senate Foreign Relations Committee Chairman Senator Bob Corker, RTN, before testifying on Capitol Hill on February 15, 2017 in Washington, D.C. In an impassioned 15-minute opening testimony, Kutcher praised the committee for bipartisan cooperation on the issue, calling his opportunity to speak one of the greatest honors of my life, his voice cracking multiple times as he recalled his work with victims. As part of my anti-trafficking work, I've met victims in Russia, I've met victims in India, I've met victims that have been trafficked from Mexico, victims from New York and New Jersey and all across our country. I've been on FBI raids where I've seen things that no person should ever see, Kutcher said. I've seen video content of a child that's the same age as mine being raped by an American man that was a sex tourist in Cambodia. And this child was so conditioned by her environment that she thought she was engaging in play. Quotation mark. Kutcher pressed the importance of using technology as a tool that can be used to disable slavery, citing specific progress. Ashton Kuttner testifies at a Senate Foreign Relations Committee, examining ending modern slavery, building on success on Capitol Hill on February 15, 2017 in Washington, D.C. It's working. In six months, with 25% of our users reporting, we've identified over 6,000 trafficking victims, 2,000 of which are minors. This tool has enhanced 4,000 law enforcement officials and 900 agencies. And we're reducing the investigation time by 60%, he said of a software tool called Spotlight. Quotation mark. Another tool called Solus has taken investigation time from dark web material from three years to three weeks, Kutcher said. He spoke knowledgeably on the issue and called for specific actions, including additional funding for the technology, fostering public-private sector relationships, looking into the pipeline for victims, including working with the foster care system and the mental health system, and differentiating solution sets for sex trafficking and labor trafficking with enforcement and legislation initiatives. Committee Chairman Senator Bob Corker called Kutcher's work inspirational, and a true testament to entrepreneurialism and people taking a risk towards social good. Quotation mark. Corker, his fellow committee members, including Sens, Tim Kaine and Marco Rubio, and Kutcher all wore red X pins, a symbol calling awareness to the issue of modern slavery. Thankful for Ashton Kutcher and the work that Thorne is doing to rescue trafficking victims. It was great to have him on the hill today. Corker tweeted. The former host of Punk got political at times, speaking out on the current political climate regarding the refugee crisis. When people are left out, when they were neglected, when they're not supported, and when they're not given the love they need to grow, it becomes an incubator for trafficking, and this refugee crisis, if we want to be serious about ending slavery, we cannot ignore them, we cannot ignore our support for this issue in that space, because otherwise, we are going to have to deal with it for years to come he said. Last month, Kutcher spoke out against President Donald Trump's executive order on immigration. My wife came to this country on a refugee visa in the middle of the Cold War. My blood is boiling right now. Comma, he tweeted, adding, we have never been a nation built on fear. Compassion that is the root ethic of America. Our differences are fundamental to our sustainability. Quotation mark. Asked by Rubio about sites like Backpage. Combat can be used to provide an internet forum for transactional sex, Kutcher said he's been working to fight this for six years alongside sites like Craigslist and Village Voice, but when one site closes, another opens. It's a game of whack-a-mole, right? And the only question we have is not relative to censoring it, it's not relative to shutting down the internet, it's relative to can we build the tools that are better than their tools to fight what's happening? Kutcher said. 
The hearing wasn't without its lighter moments, Senator. John McCain is not a member of the committee but came to thank its members for dedication to the issue, acknowledged the committee's famous guest. Ashton, you are better looking in the movies, McCain said. Kutcher blew the senator a kiss, saying his wife thought so, too.